Hello, I'm going to talk to you about our new lockdown procedures at Fruitport Community Schools. Uh, we're no longer doing code red, code yellow um, as codes for what, what to do in a lockdown. Um, we're going to call everything a lockdown. And on this page on the district response plan, on the home page in the staff portal, this is one of the pages on lockdown procedures. What we're going to do from now on, and this is from input from um, Fruitport and local law enforcement agencies. We're going to call everything a lockdown and we'll come over the PA system and say that three times. We are in lockdown. Teachers and staff, please secure your classrooms. We'll say that three times and then we will give you further instructions. If it is an administrative lockdown, we'll come over the PA and we'll say we are in lockdown. Teachers and staff, please secure your classrooms. We'll say that three times. And then we'll say, this is an administrative lockdown. You may continue to teach and have your lights on. And we just need the hallways clear for you know, a, a certain reason. And then we will um, lift the lockdown. We'll no longer be in lockdown. We'll come over to the PA and we'll let you know that. And that's for administrative lockdown. Um, another example would be if there is a threat in the community and we'd get notified by law enforcement and then we would come over the PA and say we're in lockdown and then we would explain there is a threat in the community please turn off your lights and get away from windows and hide away from windows but remain in your classrooms we will release this lockdown once we are told that the threat is clear and the community is safe again and then the final type um obviously is the most intense and that's the you know an active shooter or an active assailant inside of a building again we're going to get on the intercom and say you know exactly what is happening with as much detail as we can there's someone with you know a gun or a knife in this part of the building and this is what they look like and then teachers at that point need to use their best judgment and decide whether to hide by locking the doors, turning off lights, barricading doors with furniture, or if they feel it is most safe at that point to get out of the building, then they have, uh, they need to use their discretion. But then for anything inside of the building, remember that the only time we're gonna come out of that type of a lockdown is if law enforcement unlocks your door. Again, you can find these on our district crisis um, response plan page, and that is on the staff portal and the links on the side of, of the home page for under staff portal. If you have any other questions, you can ask your building administrator and thank you and have a wonderful day.